Light Between Oceans is uh, a film about love and truth, and uh, it's about relationships, and uh, it's about the secrets I think people keep in relationships uh, when they're when they're isolated, and what happens when those secrets kind of uh, see the light of day and are exposed. And one day, um, as if uh, uh, a miracle happens in their life and a boat washes ashore, and in the boat is a dead man and a baby, and they take the child for their own. And uh, many years later come to find out that that baby has another mother. And we learn the story of how that baby and that man arrived on the island. And one other thing that I think really attracted me to this story was that there's no there's no good guys in the movie and there's no in the story there's no bad people in the story it's just well actually everyone's good I'll say that everyone in this movie is good and it doesn't mean that everyone in the story makes the right choice all the time it doesn't mean that they uh, don't hurt other people uh, but at their heart, they're good people. I think the movie's incredibly faithful to the book. Uh, in the best compliment I've had from anyone that's seen the movie so far has been from the author M.L. Stedman herself, who, who saw the movie recently, and she called me to tell me that she spent the day after seeing the movie uh, weeping and she said she was weeping because she felt that she was understood and she said uh, what isn't that the point of life is that we uh, as human beings are trying to be understood by each other Tom is a character that plays by the rules. It's the rules that allowed him to survive the, the First World War. And when Tom falls in love with Isabel, uh, she challenges his rules. She challenges everything about uh, his identity, which is to do things by the way of the book, which is what makes Tom a great lighthouse keeper because he has a log book and he can report when he lights the light and when he turns the light off and he can report what he sees and what he and what he doesn't see and and it's very it's very clear it's very black and white and what Isabel does is come into his life and she actually gives him life and it's a it's something that Tom is struggling with at the end of World War 1 which is he feels guilty that he's alive and Isabel helps him to embrace that life And the beautiful thing about Isabel is she's surrounded by all this pain and all this gloom and doom, and she still sees the light. Isabel, in fact, is the light of, 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 of the movie, and she uh, forces Tom, who is also kind of surrounded in this darkness and gloom from the war, and she challenges that, that darkness, and she kind of turns it on, and she illuminates it, and she's, she's just a great living, uh, but also very fragile being. Hannah Roenfeld is a uh, daughter of uh, wealthiest man in, in this town, Partagers. Wealthiest, uh, she's the daughter of the wealthiest man for, for uh, hundreds of miles, and, um, and yet her father's money isn't, she doesn't want to be defined by her father's money. Um, she, uh, she's an incredibly brave character that chooses love over security. And I'm always attracted to characters like that, 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 that choose love over, over security or choose passion uh, over, over safety.
he's like the greatest trained actor of our time. Um, uh, and I've been, long been a fan of Michael's. I remember seeing Hunger for the first time uh, at the movie theater. Uh, right before I shot Blue Valentine, I went and saw Hunger. And I remember being just absolutely uh, hypnotized and magnetized and just blown away by this presence that was Michael Fassbender up on the screen. And uh, for years I became just, just such a fan of his and would always watch him. And the thing I always saw with him that really stood out to me was just what a mental giant he was on the screen and how his brain was was just larger than life he's just how smart he was the thing i'll just say about alicia is is she's so beautiful as well and she's so cinematic if you just point the camera at her and she does nothing, you feel like there's a thousand secrets inside of her and you feel like there's a thousand storms going on inside of her and you feel like everything is happening and swirling in this girl. And then, she, then you have her do a scene and you realize how talented she is and how brave she is. Um, and she's not afraid to do a scene when she hasn't slept at all the night before. And she's not afraid to do a scene when she's not been in the makeup chair. Do you know what I mean? She's totally vulnerable uh, and completely self, uh, she has no self-consciousness. And uh, to work with her at the place when I worked with her, I felt like, uh, I felt like I was, yeah, I felt like I was working with someone very, very special. I had such a, amazing collaboration with Rachel on set. Um, you know, one of the kind of deepest and most challenging experiences I've ever had with an actor uh, was Rachel, and the most rewarding, I have to say. Uh, the places that I think we got to uh, in our trust and kind of understanding and belief in each other and belief uh, in the story and the character was uh, yeah, it was it was one of the, the most yeah, one of the best experiences that I've ever had as a filmmaker was working with Rachel. The other thing audiences can uh, expect is just this undeniable love story. Um, you know, there's a great classic uh, uh, fable here up on the screen about. Uh, you know, about romance and, and truth and, and love. It's like a battle between love and truth, this movie. Uh, and uh, yeah, and I think they can expect uh, to be transported to, a, to this, this fictitious world that, uh, you know, hopefully they can relate to and see themselves in, you know? And hopefully they'll leave uh, arguing with each other a little bit about whose side was right. Okay, Star Wars fans, for Return of the Jedi, did you know that Harrison Ford suggested that Han Solo sacrifice his life to save his friends? But George Lucas declined. What do you think would have been a good idea? For this and more movie facts, click on more videos. Or for more trailers, click on the playlist.